Yo, what is up guys? So, we're going to be showcasing off a hand loop deck, which is going to destroy all of your opponent's hand, and uh, yeah, it's pretty dang annoying. We got actually access to multiple ways to kind of get rid of some cards. We do also have access to, of course, the Neospatian Aqua Dolphin to potentially get rid of any other hand traps that your opponent would have to, of course, stop your combos. But uh, anyways... It is a Trishula slash Aqua Dolphin. I gotta give Aqua Dolphin a shout out here because he can tactically be special some multiple times in this play. And uh, as you guys can see, he's gonna go ahead and draw a bunch of cards courtesy of Saryuji as well as the Bamboo Engine. In fact, I think the dangers are actually kind of a problem in Yu-Gi-Oh! as far as the balance of the game. There's so many slash draw variants with uh, dangers that I've seen. But uh, anyways, the uh, important thing over here is, of course going for Trishla multiple times. We've already got rid of multiple cards. He's also going to go ahead and just banish the card right out of the opponent's graveyard because, of course, Aqua Dolphin just... Uh, where, where is this guy over here? He's going to make it so uh, you can discard one card, look at your opponent's hand, choose one monster, and if you control a monster with attack greater than or equal to the attack of the chosen card, you get to destroy that card and inflict 500 damage. And then um, if you don't actually have a target, you have to take 500 damage. And it doesn't really matter. He already looped everything, so... At this point, Soul Charge is just like a win harder. Uh, if your opponent saw his top deck out of that, out of everything that's banished, that's pretty nasty. And what I like with this is if you happen to go second, uh, we're not even really utilizing Trishul's effect to banish from the field because it's pretty much just the hand. And I guess technically the graveyard with, of course, Neospatian, but it just banishes all cards that they have. So you could technically go second with this deck. Granted, that is if there is no back row that's going to stop you. But again, if there's any hand traps, you'll be A-OK -okay because the Aqua Dolphin is there. I'm going to show you guys a few different plays. Obviously, that play over there did not have Soul Charge till the very end, so we already hand-looped our opponent here. But, uh, th there are a lot of times where you will draw into Soul Charge because you're going to draw into so many dang cards anyways. But, there's a few different things that you can actually pull off. In fact, uh, we will be seeing one of these plays here uh, where Librarian will, will actually be active and it's going to go ahead and be able to draw extra additional cards completely go off. If you can make the double Librarian, which you guys will see, you can loop it much easier. So it's kind of a desync for resynchro variant. There's been a few of these back in the past where you're able to loop your opponent's entire hand. But I think that specifically the dangers as well as Sariuja, these cards, I don't know, man. You guys can comment down below if you guys think that these guys should be banned in the game because they're just too consistent as far as just being able to do certain things. like. Being able to go through that many cards is just insane. This guy just GG's out over here. He's He already knows what's about to happen. But again, some of these are just different plays, and I feel like they're important for anyone interested in building this deck. And I'll also give you guys a deck profile in a moment here, in case any of you guys would like to build the deck yourself. But shout out to my boy Atlas Rising for figuring out this combo. Um, I've seen a lot of desynchro, resynchro uh, decks, but... Specifically, this is uh, a newer one that I have not seen in a while. In fact, I haven't seen a desynchro resynchro deck uh, in link format, I think, in a while. I think we covered one uh, it was a while back. But uh, we also have Magical Stone Excavation. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and make multiple copies of Sergio. I just feel like this card, like I said, comment down below if you guys think that this card is going to get hit on the next list. Because I've heard a lot of people complain about this card, as well as like, just like all the danger cards. But I mean, what are you hitting dangers? Literally everything? <laughs> like, what do you hit everything to one? I don't know. Because there still are just cards that you can just freely special summon, go through an extra draw, and you have easier access to, of course, making Sergio for your consistent combos. We're going to go ahead and draw a few extra cards here. Now we're going to go ahead, activate the Soul Charge, bringing back all of our boys. Now, obviously we got that Aqua Dolphin. It doesn't really matter that you can't really uh, go for your battle phase because, well, your opponent isn't going to be able to do anything anyways. We're going to go ahead and desynchro. And I think this is just so dang dirty. His opponent's just like, dude, you got me. All right, so this, I believe this is the Librarian one. There is one, like I said, where it has a Librarian play, which is, again, something that is important. It's like the best option, if you happen to have the option to go for the double Librarian play, which I would say is not super consistent unless you are able to pull off Soul Charge. But the fact that you can still do these kinds of things in Yu-Gi-Oh! In fact, this is one reason why i kind of been playing a lot of Duel Links. For those of you guys that follow me over on my live stream, I do stream Duel Links uh, pretty much <laughs> every day now. Uh, if you guys aren't following me, give me a follow over on Twitch. It will also be down below in the description box. But uh, there, there are, don't get me wrong. I've I've seen like the Silent Swordsman 
uh, OTK. I've seen, um, oh, there's, an, there's another one where I hit for like 2k and it does it twice. Uh, it runs a lot of the Dark World draw power. I've gotten hit by that, but for the most part, Duel Links doesn't have as many of these decks that I would say are like super OP, like I just, I just beat you turn one, like good luck. There's also no hand traps in that, uh, for the most part. There are, like, this, this Sphere Karibo and stuff that can, like, do some small stuff. But it's not that big of a deal. But, like I said, with this, don't worry about the hand traps, man. Your Neospatian Dolphin's gonna go ahead and just rip those out of your opponent's hand. Kind of just forces them to go ahead and get rid of it. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and Descinkro. And, like, look, look at this play over here. I mean, you're able to, again... Gonna make Trish look up, get rid of a card, draw two cards... <sighs> It's it's really un I think it's unfair. I mean, I don't think anyone's gonna disagree with that But the guy just goes ahead and says dude you got me Anyways, shout out to my boy Atlas Rising for figuring out this deck as well as giving me some gameplay for you guys If you guys want to check him out, he'll also be there in the pinned comment. But anyways, onwards with the deck profile So we got the Danger Nessie. We've got the Rose Warrior Revenge. We've got the Chupacabra. We've got three copies of Neo Space Connector Then we got the Danger Snake Boy. We got three copies of Junk Forward one Aqua Dolphin, we got the Jackalope, three copies of Hero Kid, one Jet Synchron, one Global, three copies of DC Synchro, we got Reinforcement of the Army, we got three copies of Foolish Burial Goods, then we got Soul Charge, Upstart, three copies of Golden Bamboo, one Monster Reborn, three copies of Magical Stone, Excavation obviously is for your DC Synchro, um, or it happened, you can go for Soul Charge as well. Uh, we've got two copies of World Legacy Succession, We've got the Phoenix Blade, we've got Living Fossil, one Broken Bamboo Sword, three copies of the Cursed Bamboo Sword, and two copies of the Phantom Knights of Shade. Then for the extra deck, we've got, of course, got Trishula, because it is a Trishula loop deck. Then we got the Omega, Power Tool Dragon, Charge Warrior, two copies of Librarian, one Quan Dax, we've got Tatsunoko, uh, Gumblar, we've got the Boral Sword. This is more so for like other like options if your opponent happens to go. Uh, first, obviously at that point, they would defeat the purpose of the video, um, but you're not, more likely not going to be able to hand loop them, but you can go ahead and start banishing everything from the field, and essentially it's the same thing anyways. Uh, but if you need to make s certain cards, like they're just like important to make. Then we got three copies of Sarah Ujo, one copy of the Summon Sorceress, which, uh, you know, it's still banned in the OCG. I wonder if it's going to get the same treatment over here. And then we have a sold because some of that card's pretty good. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed seeing this. Let me know your thoughts down below on this. What do you think is going to get banned? I really feel like something as far as Dangerous or Sarayuja. If you guys have looked at a lot of the FTK uh, variant decks, they're all playing Dangerous slash Sarayuja. And I think a lot of players have been complaining about that. Myself included. <laughs> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. If you did, drop a like on it. If you're new to the channel, the subscribe button to see more crazy Yu-Gi-Oh! FTK loops. Crazy Yu-Gi-Oh! Cheese combos. And if you guys got any cool replays, feel free to send them in to asianizerreplays at gmail.com. Shoutouts again once to my boy Atlas Rising. Thanks for watching, and peace out.